Is the gold rally done? Gold rallied to the highs of $2,192 on the open this week after comments from the Federal Reserve Chairman Powell. But is this rally at its end? I'm going to explore why it might not be done, so stick around. First of all, I'm going to start on the commitment of trader reports. Now, the commitment of trader reports show us three things, really. They show us where the commercials are positioned, where the non-commercials are positioned, as well as what they call the non reportables now what we really want to focus on are the non-coms and the commercials now the commercials are in the market for business purposes and the non-commercials are more like large funds and traders and things like that that are in it for investment purposes and speculation okay now on this chart in particular the green line is the non-commercials and the red line is the commercials now i really like to look at extreme points in terms of uh, commitment of trade reports so i can see here back towards april 2022 there was a high in the contracts here for the non-coms. The non-coms were at sort of all-time highs, okay? Uh, not, not necessarily all-time highs, sorry, but the highs that had been for that particular year. So I know that that is a particular extreme point. The reason why I know this as well is because of how price reacted from that point. We saw the market move to the downside. Now, that's more largely driven by what's going on in the commercial space. We can see that the commercial contracts were at an extreme low for that particular year, and then the market turned around okay so I want to look for when those contracts become extreme again and we're not quite at that point just yet I can see that down here it would require us to be around about minus 300,000 contracts here for the commercials and we need to be around plus 300,000 for the non-coms okay so that's why I actually think this move in gold might not be done just yet or one of the reasons we can see that obviously we've come up into that sort of two thousand dollar area that two thousand and fifty dollar area highs we're rejecting that at the moment but does that mean that price is going to start continuing to push back towards this let's say eighteen hundred dollar lows i don't quite think it is just yet i think we're actually probably going to see a little bit more of a rally to the upside now let's go dive into that a little bit further across our charts here so let's flip over to the pa um, the gold chart sorry um, and we can see here obviously the market has dove down recently we've driven up into that 2150 area which is an area we're actually talking about getting long to previously after price found support down towards this $1,800 the market has since obviously retracted and retraced back from that particular area. Now, what we notice in and around December as well is that the US dollar uh, does typically weaken in December, which could also add sort of bullishness to the price of gold. OK, so this is two areas now where we're kind of looking at the cut reports aren't really extremes yet for the purposes of selling gold uh, in particular and uh, the fact that the US dollar does typically weaken over the December period. We also see the US 10-year yields falling quite drastically. We're now around about 4.1% on the 10-year yields uh, which have fallen down from that five percent highs which we were looking at in the past so we've got multiple things telling us that maybe the dollar isn't as necessarily um, strong as we expected um, and we could see some seasonal bearishness to that market so we've obviously got an opportunity here to see if the gold price will continue to rally now looking at the four hour chart at the moment i can see that price has come into that 2010 sort of area in here and reacted we saw a little bit of a consolidation there on this particular time frame through here we know that consolidation can often build up large amounts of volume and the market has reacted in and around this point i think to be bullish gold again though we need to see some real good momentum being brought back to the upside here i'm not quite seen that just yet but if we go to our lower time frames you can see i've got my 50 i've got my 200 moving average on here as well you know we're almost creating a little bit of what would be considered an inverse head and shoulders pattern again just showing that there's a potential change of trend coming in here i would say that if price kind of breached 
back above these kind of neckline highs, so to say, around about that $2,040 area. I think gold would be a lot more bullish above this point, and that would probably go back and try and seek those levels that price went towards, including that sort of $2,073 area, and maybe even all the way back up towards that $2,150. We then have to obviously judge what's happening from the commitment of trader point of view. If we do see the commercials getting into around about that minus 300,000 area, then that could be a good time to stop buying gold and that it could be a good time to then think about the reversal at that point. But hopefully that all made sense. If it did, subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more Forex trading content and I'll see you in the next video.